I'll tell you what, uh, outside the locker room with a very, very happy head football coach, Terry Bowden, and there was a rumor uh, flying around the press box after the game, you're going to petition the Mid-American Conference to play all games on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I told these guys uh, how much they want to play. They always say they want to play on Sundays. But we're going to give them a chance today to play on Sunday, but it was a very difficult game for both teams. I mean, the amount of times we got ready to come out yet last uh, yesterday was tiring, mentally tiring and exhausting. The players were they're a little bit upset because they wanted to play football, and uh, but, but they really wanted to play, and they came out here, and man, they played. It was a great team effort, team effort, and you know, and it just the way our defense played the entire game. And I know I told AJ, listen, we kind of moved our offense towards. As long as they kept holding them, we kept playing fairly conservative. But you just have to be careful how much you go. But great defensive play great offensive play and then to hold their number four and to hold their special teams like we did that was a huge credit to our team too even though you only put 14 points on the board in the first half I thought it was one of the better halves play calling and really getting the offense moving you're exactly right we almost had another one there at the end we had a penalty they just couldn't believe we had that penalty of pushing the pile and I've never seen a call quite like that but we got we had a penalty there cook us out of field goal or touchdown range at the very end or we go up a little more but again the thing is these guys so much we had been uh, heard these guys gonna wear you down They're going to wear you down. They're going to run up and down your throat in the third quarter. They're going to run up and down your throat in the fourth quarter. Our defense does give a little bit, but they don't break. And that's what our defense did today. It was almost deja vu from going back to that Troy State game. You had the football. You had the lead. You needed the first downs. You got two. We put the pressure on that because they had used all their timeouts. Well, that was what was critical. They used all of their timeouts uh, and kept them from being able to use their timeouts. Then we got that big sack at the end and, that, and uh, held them underneath, underneath the first down on the catch. And they had no way to stop it because our offense got those first downs. Ulysses Gilbert has been one of your team leaders all season long. It was only apropos to him to make the big play to ice this thing. Well, you know, when he blitzes, it usually ends up with a good result. We don't do it too often with him at linebacker, but usually when he goes after him, there's not many people that can outrun him. I'll tell you, uh, they tried to... Uh play a pretty pretty tough coverage but uh, you know you lost two outstanding uh, wide receivers last year but this group of wide receivers with the sprinter speed are starting to put some pressure on people yeah I mean th they really do we've got some guys that can, can catch the football we've got some guys that can burn them deep we missed a couple of third down throws late, late in the game that would have iced this game we missed a couple of easy throws that were wide open um, but again and, and we saw our defense continue to hold and continue to hold as long as it was 14 to 3 and our defense was it was was holding them out of the end zone we were going to play a little more conservative on offense and it worked you know it's, it's always a risk how much you pull it in but we pulled it in just enough one of the biggest plays of the game came early in the football game they're driving looks like they're going to take it in and yeah. score Kyron Brown comes up with the pick and that really hurt him and gave you so all the momentum you needed well a team like Western Michigan because they're so good at running the football and they do some things that they do better than other people those first two series or three series that defense is in a bind until they get a feel for the for the for the speed of the offense and the style of the offense those interceptions like that and we've had three out of the last four games turnovers that we've our defense has come up with the last couple of games and for that to happen that leads to a score that turns the whole momentum around then when you hold them the next time then they miss a field goal and all of a sudden you're in the second quarter it changes the the personality of the game it, it became it, it, it became a game of catch up for them and uh and that's not what they want to do you know uh a lot of people trying to figure out who had the advantage with the delay playing today instead of yesterday. Did you feel pretty good about the delay? Uh, <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't. It was miserable. We we sat in there and took our went out, came in. We, I mean, mentally, we must have gotten ready to play four times, and we were exhausted. I was exhausted. Our kids were exhausted. Mentally, they, they're kind of mad because they want to play football. They're keyed up so much, and now they got to go back and drive an hour and a half. I know I don't think any of Western Michigan drove an hour and a half to Lansing to stay at a hotel, then get up and drive an hour and a half over here. But you know what? It it, it comes down to how bad you want to win. How bad do you want to win? And I think both teams want to win bad. It's just one of those things where those things are things you can't control, and that's the old saying, don't worry about things you can't control. And to be honest with you, that's the worst weather we had yesterday I've ever seen, I think. I've heard of the Lake Erie effect. I think the Lake Michigan effect is exactly. a lot tougher than the Lake Erie effect. You have told me many times that the Mid-American Conference Championship will be decided in November. But it's pretty good to sit here in October with our record. Well, I mean, we, right now it's just one game at a time. We've won some close ball games, and we got we come up with out, out of the out of the – flying pan into the fire. You know, we got Toledo next week and they're awful good as well. So right now we're going to savor this victory and savor what we accomplished today on the road at Western Michigan. Big win for these guys and uh, and then we'll get back to work as fast. Give them a day. Got to give them a little rest now even because tomorrow is usually a Sunday and it's a Monday. But we coaches will have to get to work and get ready for the next one. Final question. How excited uh, were you and how excited was the team in the locker room after the game? Uh, it's as best. It's as good as I've ever seen. Again, we've had some great wins uh, at, at Akron and we've had some wins uh, in the last few years 
that, that are awful sweet. But that one was awful good because I think it was a, one of those where a lot, not a lot of people were giving us a chance to win up here in Kalamazoo. Well, that ride home is going to be a lot uh, shorter, no, than, isn't it? I guarantee it will be. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the young man who uh, put this one out of reach, big play at the end of the game with the sack. I'll tell you, they, the coaches left it on the defensive shoulders. He got 14 points early yes, and hung up and hung on to win this thing. But, boy, a lot of pressure on the defense. You guys played great all game long. Tell us about that. Man, it's just all God, man. I just love my team. Uh, we just kept our intensity up. We just kept our positive mindset. And we just said we were just going to come out here and just make something happen. That's what we did. Of course, that last play, tell us what the call was. Tell us uh, about the energy that you gave on that last play because if you get to him, the game's over and you knew it. It was just a mic combo, and uh, I just told the end go inside, and I just came off the edge. And then I just, got, I just got free. So when I got free, I just said I had to get him. We talked to Coach Bowden about uh, the delay going from yesterday to Sunday afternoon. Did that wear on you and your teammates? Did you get more anxious? Or what was the mindset coming all the way back over here today? Uh, we really just didn't know what was going to happen, but, I mean, it's game day, so you had to get in that mindset of game day. And we just come here and just knew we had to do and just we just wanted to be on top, so that's what we came to do. 14 points early by the offense. I told Coach Bowden I thought it was the even though he only put 14 points on the board, I thought it was the best the offense played all year with the play calling and everything like that. You feel the same or not? Uh, yeah, I mean, we had a great start. You know, that interception put us on their side of the field, deep in their side of the field, and we just executed just being lucky to be on that side of the field and have a great field position by our defense, you know. So, but I mean, it's not the greatest game we wanted to have, but a win, <laughs> we'll always take a win. I know all of us will, and we're happy, and we just got that one and no mentality every week. You know, just worry about that game we have that week, and just as long as we be, as long as we all one and zero by the end of the week, we're just satisfied with ourselves. So, I mean, well, we're not really satisfied with ourselves, but for the week we are. How about that young kid from Barberton, Kobe Booker? You hit him early, boy. Nobody wants to get in his way in the open field, do they? Oh uh, yeah, not at all. You know, 36. He got that 36 on Jerome Bettis. You know, <laughs> so, so nobody want to get in his way. He played a great game. True freshman to be in this, to play in this environment against the defending Mac champs. He stepped up. He played. He played very well. So, I mean, he just his number was called and he stepped up to the challenge. You know.